This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost and some exclusive deals over at btech.com. Today I'm going to talk about hybrids, tell you what a hybrid is, because we've been using the term a lot, a lot more are being released, so it makes sense we break down what they are and what is out there in a nutshell. Now in our opinion, a hybrid is a tablet with an identity crisis, just like this Asus TF103. As you can see, you've got a little button here which we can unlatch. If we plonk that down, it disconnects and turns from netbook style laptop form factor into 10.1 inch touchscreen tablet that looks very, very tablet-esque. You wouldn't even be able able to tell, save for these connections, that it had a keyboard dock. The keyboard dock from the Asus TF103 is also really nice, well spaced out keys, chiclet keys no less, and there's a lot of travel on them. You do also have a trackpad, and most hybrid devices, keyboard docks pack some extra functionality like a USB port or an extended battery. This doesn't have it, but one of our other hybrids does, which we will come on to later. As you can see, you've got a lot of Windows 8 devices in the background. You also have have Android in the foreground with the Asus device. The Asus device is the one we started with because it is the cheapest of the bunch and Asus really did herald the dawn of the tablet slash netbooks with the original transformer. Click it into place like so and you can see the form factor is very very becoming to keeping your productivity up while also having that tablet versatility. As far as the other tablets we've got on here, or hybrids more to the point, we've got a range and we're going to start off with the cheapest. It's another Asus, it's called the T100. It's the first device that launched with an Intel Bay Trail processor, which is um, Intel's tablet slash mobile processor, which packs loads of power despite being incredibly affordable. That's why this can run full Windows 8.1 while still costing under 300 quid. You can pick this up for around 289 pounds now. You've got a very similar keyboard, which is great in terms of um, chiclet keys with lots and lots of travel. The USB port is on the base of the device and on the actual tablet itself you've got all your standard connections such as a micro SD card slot, micro HDMI which is great and a micro USB. Also a 3.5mm headphone jack and this charges via USB. If we close it up, you can see there is no camera. This is an affordable device. It doesn't actually have any rear facing cameras and is quite hollow feeling. There's no battery in the base of the device, but you do still have a front facing camera. All in all, what's really strong about the Asus T100 is its battery life. Swapping out the Switch 10 for the T100, the Asus Switch 10 is a very different device all in all. It doesn't look quite as good based on the fact the squared off design looks dated, but it's still has a lot more functionality in terms of its form factor. With its front facing speakers, the temp mode actually brings the whole device closer to you so you can hear the audio much, much more clearly. You can also view it in display mode to get to an angle that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get to if you had an in regular laptop folding form factor. There are a few things that are better, a few things that are worse than the Asus T100. What's better? Well, the screen. It's also available in a 64 gig capacity. The 32 gig is 299 pounds, the 64 gig is 349. We would recommend the 64 gig as Windows 8.1 is a real memory hog. As far as the keyboard goes, it isn't quite as good. It also has a smaller capacity battery. Closing it up, you can also see you have a micro HDMI, which is great, as well as a micro USB for data, but this charges using a proprietary charger. The charger is quicker than the Asus um, T100. However, having a proprietary charger generally isn't our favorite thing in the world. There is also a micro SD card and a 3.5 mil jack as well. No rear facing camera. You have a weird brushed metal texture looking pattern, but it's plastic through and through. Feels quite hollow, but still feels decent for the price. And what's more, the versatility in terms of the form factors is very very welcome at the 299 pound asking price so putting that to one side we can bring in probably our favorite hybrid device out right now yes we're going to make that grander claim this is a dell venue 11 it is also one of the most expensive hybrid devices the reason we really like this is because you can opt for this kind of surface style folding keyboard dock which has a pretty weird latch mechanism on the back um, when you want to view it um, in a tablet form factor in a laptop form factor sorry you can disconnect it very easily 
and just view it as a tablet. Now what's great about this experience is the fact you've got an 11 inch display so it's larger and it's a full HD display so it has a better resolution than the other tablets. Still very well optimized for touch. It's got the best screen without a doubt of the two devices that we've seen prior including this one, the three. If we bring something else into frame we have a keyboard dock. Now this keyboard dock packs an external battery that will up the battery life by up to 50%. Sure you don't have display mode, you don't have front facing speakers so it isn't going to deliver as good audio as the Acer Switch 10 but it will deliver a better productivity experience for typing with a larger keypad. Close it up and you've also got a much more convincing solid, it is heavier, netbook form factor. What's more, despite the fact we do have the Intel Atom processor in here, you can get this with an i5 processor. So this is the only device that can really replace a desktop of the ones that we have seen so far. Finally, our absolute favorite thing about this is the desktop dock. Stick your tablet in there and you can open it up to another USB port at the front and a 3.5mm headphone jack at the front. Flipping it round, you've got additional USB ports up to two. You've got an ethernet cable, an HDMI connector, and the HDMI connector is great. It'll basically give you full desktop functionality from the tablet that you can carry everywhere with you with full laptop functionality. So in terms of versatility, that's why the Dell Venue 11 Pro is our favorite, but unsurprisingly, being our favorite, it is the most expensive of what we've seen so far. It starts at 349 odd pounds on special off, which is uh, available at the moment, but it does go up to over a thousand pounds. And if you do plonk on all those accessories, definitely over a thousand pounds. Check it out though. If you do want a laptop slash desktop replacement, the Dell Venue 11 is the only one that can really do that. Aside from the Surface Pro 2. Now the Surface Pro and Surface Pro 2 can have up to i7 processors in there. They've got full HD displays, super zippy. The keyboard is where you're going to be hindered. If you don't like these uh, keyboards that the Surface has come with, then you genuinely won't be treating this as a laptop. We aren't the hugest fans based on the fact they don't sit comfortably on a lap if you're on a train, for example, but they are the most svelte of the bunch naturally being a Microsoft built device, the build quality is also second to none. Battery life is great on the Surface Pro 2 as well. So like we said, if you do like the keyboard on the Surface Pro 2, like that tablet form factor and aren't too fussed about having a proper laptop form factor that sits very comfortably on a lap when on a train, this makes for another very good desktop replacement, at least in terms of power. Naturally with the HDMI or at least the HDMI converter, you will be able to hook this up to a big screen and try Treat it as your traveling desktop, just like the Dell Venue 11 Pro. All in all, therefore, hybrids are absolutely in, and it is no surprise why when you see all the things that they can do. If you've got any questions about any of our devices, including the Asus T103, the Switch 10 from Acer, the Asus T100, the Dell Venue 11 Pro, or the Surface Pro 2, make sure you fire them in the comments section below. I've been Basil with BTECH. If you like the video, click like. If you like the channel in general, click subscribe. Head over to BTECH where you can find the latest in smartphones, tablets, smart gadgets, and some awesome deals as well. Thanks for watching. At the top of the screen is where you can find three hand-picked videos for your viewing pleasure. On the left is where you can subscribe and on the right hand side you can find some exclusive deals if you head over to btext.com.